at home, home for the two of us back in Philadelphia nice. on the Big Talker 1210. I'm, I'm pointing at uh, Lisa Scottolini, the best-selling author, the latest release, Daddy's Girl. Woohoo! Yeah, baby. Uh, and also on MSNBC. Great to see you. Oh, it's great to see you. And you're like knocking them dead with this book. I'm trying. I'm trying, as are you. This is wonderful to be on MSNBC. I say I like chiclet. There's Good nothing for wrong you. with that. And this I heard is chiclet. you say that, and that made me very happy. Yeah. There is nothing wrong with that term. I think men who are in control of their sexuality can both wear pink shirts Agree. and read chiclet. And, and we love men who are in control of their sexuality. Thank we you want for to that. meet more of them, actually. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I think a lot of people, a lot of women authors in particular, have a problem with that term. I don't at all. I think it's, you know, the books are always about a woman who's strong and sexy and smart. Right. And that's, and sometimes they're called chicks. Ever, Wait, what are you wearing? Why, why don't you ever ask me to do like, I know I have a horrific voice, but could, there's an audio component of this. I know. Can't I you be in the be running like for the that? You could be like the pulsing and the turgid and the... Here's, here's how I would do it. Do it for me. Angus nodded. No, do it like Barry White. Angus nodded. Angus nodded and accepted it, drinking thirstily. He cleared his throat, keeping his head down. Nat remained silent, standing over him. She couldn't Stop, see his you face. Give me no, I didn't get to the best part. You're evil. And that's when I said, "Yeah, he's got." I think, and I, I think I told you once before. Like I was reading it in bed, and my my wife at that point, like, and I, it's clicking through the channels. I said, "Turn that off. This guy's about to hook up." It's foreplay. <laughs> no, really, but what she has is she, she has, see, I get to live through the fiction. Yeah, I don't want to, I guess I shouldn't give away the ending because I was going to no. give, I was going to give a warning about men with ponytails. I know. Which is proven in the book. You but that's you mustn't. It's a surprise. Um, so the protagonist in this book, right. like you, is a law professor at our alma mater, which is the University of Pennsylvania Law School. Go Penn, yes. But I mean, t truly, you're, you're still... Like, you must be such hot stuff in that law school. That, I so am. You know, did you sign up for professors? What do they call you? They call me Lisa. They call oh, they me do? I said I'm like Dr. Phil. They call me Professor Lisa. <laughs> I can't really wear it. What First do you of, teach? How long does it take to say Professor Scottolini? Right. right? Uh, pro Professor Scottolini. Yeah, right. Professor over here. No, I teach uh, justice and fiction. I teach him Perry Mason to present. What does that mean? I teach him... Now, isn't that a nice thing to hear in the middle of the yeah. chapter? Keeps yeah, keeps going. that's right. Or maybe it's a little you, coffee. You, then stay away from my email. It would take you in the other direction. Uh, no. Hey, you, what, one thing I love about the Lisa Scottolini story is the, sort of the Horatio Alger element of it's not as if you wrote a book, you handed it over, and no. bang, you became the star that you are today. Well, a lot of rejection. Tell that story. It's important for people to know no matter what it is they're doing. Now I sound like Dr. Phil. No matter what it is they're trying to do in life, because you achieved your dream, but you had to go through those well, that's, hurdles. that's kind of you to say. I mean, in short, you know, I got divorced about the same time my daughter was born. I know. I'm the classy person on today. Get, get back to Ryan Howard. But anyway, um, <laughs> I, uh, I basically said I have to find another way to make a living. And that's what's so wonderful, that you can, you know, even though those men are gone today, um, their voice lives on. Well, the one thing that I know we agree on is that in this, this crazy world in which we live with all these information, technology things pulling us in different directions, there is still nothing like the feel of, you know, jumping in the sack with a great book that you just can't put down. Yeah. You know, the kind of a book where you don't want to finish the book. You don't want to know. I was almost going to give away the ending. Uh, of the, It's a great feeling. And we get that from a gifted you know, author like you. Well, that's very kind so, of you. Um, got this idea. Yeah. He's a talk radio host in, let's say, <laughs> oh, man. Philadelphia. Oh, let me guess. And he loves the Phillies. And he loves, and the, he loves Ryan Howard. <laughs> uh, MSNBC calls him. Um, yeah, why not? We'll simulcast the show for a couple of days. And he's super sexy. He's a handsome dude. And so he gets the job. <laughs> gets, They'd be crazy not the, to hire you. He gets the chicks. He gets the he job. Gets he gets it all. He <laughs> wins in the end. Yay. <laughs> Lisa Scalalini, Daddy's Girl. You got to say you. it with that kind of authority. I love it. All good things for you. Thank you. It's you a too. great book. I love this book. You know, I love this book. I appreciate also it. Also, love uh, having Lisa Scalalini around. All right, we're having too much fun. We're having way too much fun. It's quarter of the hour. I'm Michael Swirkanish at home. 